Hello, 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 and we are back. Uh, so, the last episode has now been officially edited. Bear with me on that. The editing is okay, it's not great, it kind of... Where, it, where you would expect it to maybe do that, it kind of crashes and burns a little bit, because I'm bad at what I do. But... Nonetheless, we are back. We're going to continue to try and improve the editing. As you know, anyway, I don't do too much, but let's jump into the game and we'll continue to talk. So, I've set out an action plan for today. Uh, what I want to try and get done in this episode is I want to get at least a farm set up for these three. I have gone out of my way to go off camera and get the pumpkins that were just, like, down here-ish. And then I've done some exploring... And I went all the way over to here just to get some sugarcane. I have noticed, though, one thing I did notice is there's a bigger, better village here. Um, and we will want stuff from this. And maybe we move there. But for now, we'll stay with our little village. Um, but we will probably head over here at some point, but not today. So, without further ado, I think if we... We need to stay on top of harvesting these because we don't have that many carrots ah oh, that one wasn't fully grown was it or potatoes but i've got a full stack of seeds um to be able to try and speed up this this farm producing process uh and i've got the sugarcane pumpkin so we're getting there we're missing a couple crops um we still need beetroots and we need what else do we need beetroots we need watermelons we need cocoa beans and i think that's it um, we're not going to do anything too fancy for these. Um, I reckon if we if we just flatten this out a little bit, we'll have a nice a nice space to work with. Ooh, um, yeah. Let's let's carve through here basically, and we'll flatten it from here forwards. I think this is going to be a nice way to do it. So what I'll do is I'll probably uh, come back and finish this. I'm trying to set up good places to cut for myself. Um, so, why don't I come back when I've done this? And for the people watching the uncut version, we're still here. <laughs> it's very difficult. It's very difficult to be someone that <laughs> is editing, but also playing and trying to decide where to cut. And that was my issue with the, the main video is... The uncut one probably looks great, because there's no cuts, but like... It was an hour and a half long, and I've cut it down, like, I've cut it down to just about half an hour, so we've removed a heavy, oh no, we've removed a heavy amount of content, um, because a lot of it was, a lot of it was not really that needed. I am going to lower blocks, I think, as well, to 30%, um, just because that sounded quite loud, the breaking there. Um, but yeah, uh, it was one of those where... There was just so much content there, and I could have, yeah, I could have done what I normally do, and I could have broken it down into, what, like, three videos, but it would have been, like, two boring videos and one, like, half-interesting one. At least now, with it all condensed down, we've got maybe one mildly interesting video. <laughs> but, like, the, the whole point of Vault Hunters is, as I said at the start, this series will get a little bit fast-paced as we go on. We need the initial startup stuff to get ready, but we should be able to do our first vault today if the crystal isn't too bad. Um, if there's some stuff that we don't have, we're going to struggle a little bit, but overall, let's go sleep, uh, overall it shouldn't be uh, that difficult to do a vault today. And as I said earlier, I'm hoping to maybe just run it with iron, um, and if I can run it with iron armor, I can maybe get some of the, get some of the the levels, which I think if I press H, I get to this. And if I can get one level, I can put it straight into healing, uh, and that will give me better longevity in the vaults and just in general. So hopefully we can we can make that progress today. Um, it's raining, of course. Um, but yeah, I think we've got some some good plans for today. If we get the farms going, it means we can breed the animals easier get some more food set up, um, and that means we'll have a bit of an easier time in vaults. Although, one thing to note, that in vaults, you don't get health regeneration other than by using, like, potions of regen and stuff. 
natural health gen is turned off. So that's why you want to get that first perk into healing, so you can have a little bit of a longer time in a vault. Because I think the way the experience works, if I go back to this, uh, where does it show? Here. So this is the experience. So we need a thousand ex uh, bits of experience to get our first vault level. Um, and I think the way experience works is it's done by, it's a lot of different attributes, but one of them is amount of time spent in vault. So I think you get 25 minutes to start with. Um, and you can edit that and adjust that as you go with like items and stuff. But 25 minutes to start with. Um, and if you spend all 25, I think you'd get marginally more experience than if you spent, for example, like one minute. Um, and it's also based on enemies killed and chests opened and looted and stuff. So the more we can do in a vault, the better. So the hope is that I'll play it very cautiously with this first one because I'm going in with iron and we'll see if we can maybe eke out one level and then hopefully try and go from there. We need to... Um, Another one. God damn. It's a lot of a lot of dirt to mine. We also need to make a couple of other things, but realistically all carrots. Harvest. Uh, oh, we've got a lot of dirt though. Uh potatoes. Harvest. Uh, nothing else is really grown. I will, just for the sake of getting the wheat, harvest that. I think we're good. Um Another iron. Do you know what? We'll probably just make two. I think two is probably what we're going to need. Lovely. Cool. Um, but yeah, I, I was quite happy with the first episode. I'm really enjoying this um, so far. And I haven't even got into the, the meat of the good stuff. I think I'm just enjoying some of the perks, like the animal pens, for example, make life so much easier. Um, so those sorts of bits just make it a bit easier to play the game, makes it a bit more enjoyable, and then hopefully once we start vaulting, I can have a very good time with that. Um, let's try and get through this as quick as possible. I, I should realistically, we need to go to get some obsidian anyway. Um, so if we can find more diamonds, that would be better, but my luck was pretty poor the other day with getting, like, one diamond or like veins so don't know we'll have to maybe fingers crossed and try and make the best out of it but if we chug through here we're almost done cutting through this and this should be enough space for the three farms we need for now i'm not i'm not trying to do anything major i'll just do the normal what uh, nine by nine farm, I think, with the water block in the middle, and that'll that'll give us plenty of crops. We might have to kill this guy though, because he's going to walk all over our crops. Um, I'll consider it. Death does not come for him yet, but maybe, just maybe. Blitz through. Wasted that iron on that next shovel. <laughs> I was just thinking that. Lovely. And these are the final blocks done. So we've cleared the area now. So let's try and plan out our farms a little bit. So if we use this as our edge, and I don't really want to build into the edge anyway, let's go. So one, two, three, four. This one. One, two, three, four, this one. So that's our water block here. And now we go two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. So that's one farm there. We'll do a space in between. Oh, you know what we need? We need water. More water. Anything to harvest over here? Potatoes, possibly? Yes, lovely. Nothing else. That's fine. I went up and bought some water up here. Uh, well, I didn't bring some water up here because I'm going to remove this farm, so I wanted a water source that wasn't requiring me to run all the way down the mountain. 
so we can actually probably just do one, one, two, three, four, break place. So. There we go. And then, yeah, that's pretty much perfect, in fact, for what we want, because we also want to plant some of the sugarcane and pumpkins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's actually... Let's just save ourselves some time here real quick. Because this is going to be our farm area anyway. We may as well just quickly do this. Try and optimise our time as much as possible. There we go. Cool. So then we can go... Uh, Uh, one, two, three, four, break. Perfect. And then one, two, three, four, break. I'd like to maybe just strip this back. But that should now be. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Perfect. This last one technically doesn't need to be this, but it was just for spacing. Um, so now we can come through and connect all of this. Ooh, just... Oh, we've got plenty of dirt to fill that in if we want. Look at this amount of crops. Rather than having that one pitiful farm, we will have plenty more. Oh, these are not correct. Lovely. And we can check this off very quickly as a task. Um, in fact, we've probably done extra than the task asked because we're going to plant the pumpkins as well and the sugar cane. We just have to keep on uh, keep an eye on basically harvesting all of this now is the main thing. So that we can get as many drops as possible. I think later on we can automate... Is it on this screen? Yeah, knowledge here. Uh, so you can... These are, these are the researchers you basically unlock. So we can eventually unlock stuff like... What's this? Pouches? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Create... Um, easy villagers, botany pots to be able to grow stuff in, like there's plenty of mods on this pack that will really help us in not having to have so much space uh, like used up for like farms and stuff, but for now uh, do you know what, for now we will make another we're just going to make it out of wood not necessary to be iron. It's probably a waste, the first one, but... There we go. And let's now plant everything. Is a stack enough? I thought a stack was enough when I was collecting seeds, but I might have underestimated how many... Yeah, I did, heavily. Oh, uh, well, not heavily, but 9, uh, 16 off. That's fine. Um, we can plant our pitiful amount of carrots and our mildly better amount of potatoes. And at least that will get us started. What we can do is... Let's do this. Probably what will become a very inefficient pumpkin farm, but... That'll do. And then here, 
Because I think I'm going to need more sugarcane than I am anything else. Uh, what we'll do is just trying to work out the best way to do it. Uh, let's sleep for a second. Because I think monsters are very... As we saw in the first episode, I die too often. Like eight times, I think, in the end was the final count for the first episode. Try and avoid dying that much this time. Um, I got the achievement skies at the beginning because I picked up a Batania flower as well. Uh, let's go ahead and plant this. So we've got 11 currently on us, okay. So, yeah, see, there's a skelly bob. Skeleton, give me your bones. Give me your bones. Bone. One of them. But at least we can use that to get some more carrots. Because it's the thing we have the least of. Uh, there we go. One more carrot. But that completes a line, so. Not too mad. Um, let's do this. Real quick. So, I can never remember the best way to do this, whether it's lines or not. Um, I reckon we'll go for lines for now. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll extend this one out just one more because sugarcane is useful. Um, and I'd rather have more of it than less. We can eventually automate these farms and stuff. Oh, we need cactus as well. That's another crop that we will eventually need, which I haven't seen any of. Not that I've seen any of the other ones, but I'm hoping that possibly um, we can get a lot of the stuff we're looking from from here. Looking from? Looking for. I've become illiterate. It's happening. Oh, I'm blinking a load. I'm losing my eyesight as well. It's happening. I'm weakening. Oh my god. What's happening to me? There we go. Get that going. Cool. So, we should now be able to come back over here. And technically just destroy this one. Um, for all of the crops that it's worth. We might leave it here for now in case we want to grow anything, like, special. I don't know if there's any special seeds or crops in this that might be better to grow, but I think if I remember mechanic-wise, things get bonuses from growing next to things, right? Or I'm wrong. Or I'm very wrong. Oh, but we should have enough to do this now. Perfect. Cool. So now we can go and feed these seeds to our chickens, at least. And that's the, literally, this is the cycle now. Feed, uh, kill, cook, grow. Feed, kill, cook, grow. Um, cool. So I think I cooked some more meat. I did. Let's make another chest, because we want to get rid of this dirt that we've got on us. But as I said previously, everything is useful in Vault Hunters. So you don't really want to get rid of anything. Um, let's chuck this in here as well. Um, and then in this chest for now, we'll chuck this stuff. I think that's good. Yes. Uh, okay, so... Now... We can come over here and we can tick this off. Chuck that in here. What's next? So we need obsidian. Because we need obsidian to make the vault altar, and we need one diamond. So technically, our four diamonds here is enough to get us started. So we need to do this. And that is our pick. We need to put this away for now. Uh, let's chuck this away for now. I did also off camera smelt uh, a little bit more of the stone because I think, I don't know if you need it for cobble or what, like I think the only use is to smelt it but just in case um, and then I smelt all the chromatic iron as well. So in that case we need 
obsidian, I think the best bet for us would be to actually go back down into the cave um, and try and do some more looting of one obsidian, but also maybe diamonds if we can find them. Um, so that's the plan. Uh, da, 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 da. I think we've got everything we could need. We've got a lot of food. We've got wool. Oh, yep, I think that's good. So let's go, and what we'll do is we'll go back around the other side of this again. Because, you know, we, we normally keep just running into this hole, I think, here. And dropping down and taking damage and stuff, which I'm sure has enraged everyone um, deeply. But instead, we're going to do the, the round here tactic, I think we saw. Well, we came out last time. Oh, I thought that was my death. Um, and hopefully now that we've got more food, um, we're a little bit better equipped. We won't die immediately. Um, oh. I want him for his bones, mostly. His bones mean we can grow those crops quicker. Oh, hello. Hello. As long as you guys are killing each other, there's no issue. Who's going to win? Who's going to win? Nobody won. Yeah, stuffed. That bat. Poor bat. He got in the way. Um, take us down here. Little spid ray. Ow. Oh my god. We need to eat, we need to eat, we need to eat badly. We went from decent health there straight down. I don't know where this skeleton is. Oh god. I need to eat. Oh, not again. Not another skeleton. Skeletons are the worst in this. Even in vaults, I think they're considered to be the worst thing to encounter. Oh, not again. Yeah, I'm going to be very underskilled when it comes to fighting in this vault, I think. But I did hear you die under here, and I want his bones. Because again, we're going to start churning through this stake just to get back down to that lava level that we were at. But if we can light this up a little bit, it should become a bit more pleasant every time we pop down here. Uh, lovely. Okay. We know where we're going, though. No, we don't. Oh, man. Oh, Annie shot me afterwards to put, like, salt in the wound. Unfair. Unfair how good he was at shooting. There we go. Put that up there for now. It's not a bad cave to have started into view. I mean, we can't knock it. We did find literally everything we needed uh, in this one cave, so it was a. It has been. It has done us good. We just got to keep our eyes out for maybe more diamonds, um, but we're mostly here for lava uh, obsidian. That's it. That's the word. Obsidian. We can have a little browse now, though. I feel a bit more confident with the fact that we actually aren't going to just starve to death immediately. Oh, so that's the way we normally go. So let's have a look over here quickly. There's the, the danger spawner. Zombie. Hello. Hello. God, we are running through torches right now.
Just another big mushroom room, looks to be. Any diamonds? Let's have a little little eagle eagle eye on this. He's seen me. Oh god. God, it's so dark, isn't it? Man, what was I doing there? Just followed him without hitting him once. No, I reckon we go back to that that big old room. And blitzing through them though. Lots of bad boys down there. Um, where did we come from? This way, right? Yeah, this way. Okay, cool. Let's go back to our normal, normal route. Did we bring wood? We did. Maybe we mine some coal while we're down here as well. Oh my god. Terrible twosome. No. The babies, no. Okay. They really, really went wild. Um, this is the way we came, right? Yeah, past that. Yeah, yeah, this is our way back. A little bit brighter over here. This isn't... Floor, right? No. I think I keep seeing that and thinking that's more chromatic iron. Um, it's just got that similar sort of look to it. But that's fine. We're going this way. Oh, he's going to really cause us a bit of annoyance, isn't he? Uh, see, immediately. Ow! Twice! Three times! Please. Mercy. Okay. Um, I know the way going this way, so I'm going to take this path again. Just because it's easier for me. Um, we didn't really explore this a huge amount. Like, if we quickly dip our toes in. Just so we can say that we haven't missed out on chests of good loot or whatever. Lots of rails if I need them though. Nope, nothing down here. Cool. No harm, no foul. Cool. Um, so I think we go this way, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because then we come out here. Into this big area. And I think our lava pools that we saw last time are just over here. Yes, this room. Okay. So let's get ourselves a little bit of obsidian and we're going to do this a slightly smarter way and protect ourselves by going on this side of the lava. Um, I don't know if these ever contain anything good. Oh, bones. Iron nuggets. Pumpkin seeds, more bones. Do you know what? I was about to really just go to town and shit on that for a second, but it was actually quite good. Good value there. So how much do we need realistically? Let's think. So we need two for this. Do we need any for this? This is a tool station which allows us to build a chromatic iron pick. So we need 2 plus 12 for another portal, so 14 roughly is what we need. Just to try and get ourselves into a good position where we don't have to keep coming back for it. Okay. Ice bucket challenge. Well, it's going to take a second, so let's pick up as much as we can. Ugh. Right, so yeah, 14 is what we need. We'll try and do some looting while we're down here as well. Um, as I said, it would be nice if we could find more diamonds, because all four of our diamonds are going into making the uh, vault altar. So we've got nothing left. Um, 
Two more would be nice, maybe to make a sword at least. Um, the, the thing is with the vault gear is it's always going to be better than netherite gear base, as far as I'm aware. So there's no point in progressing all the way to like a full suit of diamond um, or a full suit of netherite to be more precise. So like a little bit of better protection would be good, but if we get lucky and we find something really early on, it's a waste of materials. At least tools are maybe more reasonable. So what are we at? Seven, eight. We're about halfway there. That's fine. Just trying to keep an eye on anyone coming for me as well. We should probably, what we should do, and it might be the more reasonable thing now that we've got the farm set up, is to try and do villager trading for gear. So we get like an armor smith and we try and get him to sell us gear for a reasonable price. That's going to have lava behind it, so let's be careful. don't think we got that one. That's fine. Let's come over here instead. So another four pieces. So basically we mine this little chunk out here, and we should be sorted. Because I think you need 12 for a portal, right? You need... 2 plus 2 is... Oh, you need 10. Okay, well. Technically, it's 12 in total that I need, then. Not bad. Where are we at? Is that 12? 12. Let's just recount that. So, 2 plus 2 on the bottom, 3 on either side, 2 on the top. Yeah. 10. No, it's, it's 10. 12, yeah. Yeah, let's leave it there, then. Let's not waste our time mining... Um, endless amounts of obsidian when we could be exploring for loot 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 give me your diamonds please uh, I think we did a pretty good job of clearing this room last time of diamonds though um, unless it's in the ceilings and I can barely see that anyway Especially with how sunny it is today. Every time I start recording, the sun really comes out. It lags a lot when it... Oh! Slimes. They'll be useful. Either way. Um, sure. Slime balls can come up in recipes for vaults. Um, something is happening around here. Oh, is that diamonds? No, that's not. It's very annoying. There's a lot of things that are making me uh, think it looks like diamonds. Ooh, a lot of these urns. Where did that creeper go? Okay. He's gone. Ooh, emeralds. Six. You know what? This isn't bad, actually. Carrots. Zombie head. A statue. Oh, we should be breaking more of these. A load of emeralds. Okay. Okay, I see you. I see you giving me the good stuff now. Gave me only ash the first, like, couple I broke. <laughs> Who wants ash? We never came over here, did we? Because this, this was where death was. So there could possibly be diamonds over here. If not, there are urns. Maybe urns will have diamonds in. Potatoes, ash, iron, bones gold. We're going to have loads of bones at the end of this. Which is going to do us real good. Now, do we have any building blocks? We don't. Um, risky. But is it worth it? Nope. Risk. Bones. How many bones have we got? 30. And we're getting antique ink. Bombs, all sorts of things. These are good. They're like little little loot loot boxes. Uh, let's see. We'll take this glow ink. You know, we can light up our to do list sign a little bit. Make it all cute and fancy. Where's that skeleton? Oh, he's there. Shit.
Hard open. Oh, no. Dead. Cool. Oh. Um. Drop that. Gunpowder's probably more worth it than one piece of string. Still not seeing any extra diamonds, which is sad. We'll go until we run out of these torches. Oh, is this more chromatic iron? I think it is. We will mine that, though. I think it is. Let's check. Uh, lovely. Yeah, we'll mine this out. It's always good to mine another vein of this. It's one of, I think, a fairly useful thing in this mod. I, I had it, well, I know it's fairly useful. I had a look at the ingots. Um, they are used for so much. Um, so the more of this, the better. We're quite lucky to have found another one of these. Just exposed like this. I feel like we're, we're getting all our luck on the vault stuff, which is good and all. But diamonds, question mark, please, maybe? Would uh, would appreciate just a little bit more luck on that one. Lovely. It's a very nice looking ore. It's very like um, pearlescent, I think. But realistically, what we'll do is once we've mined this, we'll uh, we'll start to head back up, um, and we'll try and work out what our first recipe for a vault is, and we'll do our first vault today, which will be good fun. Oh, I don't know why I just did that. That angers me when I watch other people do it. Uh, forgive me, Tool Lords. Oh, that sounds like a bad name for you guys. <laughs> forgive me, Tool Lords, for I have sinned. Um, we'll also go and do a load of bone mealing of all of our crops. Or maybe, well, maybe we should build the altar first, because if it asks us for 30 bones, I'd be a little annoyed. <laughs> uh, what can we get rid of? Ash. Grab all of that. Lovely. Okay. Not what we wanted, but what we needed. Oh, and this is also um, vault stone. Let's put this here. Just because um, it'll be good to know that that's there. I've learned how to use the... Uh, the pins on the map now as well. I just didn't have it key bound to anything. Now we've got it a little bit better set up so that I can actually find things again. And knowing where another patch of vault stone is is probably very useful. Ash. Pointless. I say pointless, I haven't actually checked its uses, but I'm going to presume pointless. Hmm. No good loots. There's another overhang, isn't there? Over this way, right? Where we found the slime jumped down. This, yeah. It would be nice to try and get up there. Oh, I thought I heard something. Because um, there's possibly... It's all still within the deep slate, which is more likely where diamonds are. Um... Can we... Oh, is this more? No, Florette. Gets me every time. No, there's not an easy way up there. That's a skeleton up there. No, I think, I think we head back home. We, we head on back up uh, and we build our vault altar and see what the recipe is. If, if we have to come back down for like redstone or something, oh my god. We'll come back down, but realistically I think we're, we're above ground people. <laughs> we do better up there than we do down here. Well, maybe this leads up though to that overhang. I think it does. Let's just have a quick peek. What's this? Oh, nothing. No, I don't think it leads up to the overhang. Is that a spider jockey? That is a spider jockey. Yeah, 
any diamonds at all. Hmm. Greed has taken us again on a detour. But as I did say I'd wait until the end of the torches, so is it greed or is it just following my own rules? Greed, it's greed. If we die down here, it'd be very sad. Although, as I said, now we've got food. Less likely to die? Not unlikely, but just less. Nope. I think that's it. Plus, our sword's almost broken. Yeah, let's bail. Shame. Shame indeed. Ooh, but more pots. I'll take pots. Ash. Some cobwebs. I think they can be useful, and we don't need the pumpkin seeds. Ash. Torches. Always good. Gives us more time down here. Uh, more pots. More torches. Glow ink. Sure. Uh, have we ever been this way and just had a quick peek? Oh, oh, we've fallen. And we can't get back up. I've fallen. And I can't get up. Uh, come round this corner and 10,000 diamond blocks. All stacked up nicely for me. Right. Right. Show me them. Show me those diamond blocks. Nope. Nothing. Um, so how do we get out of here normally? We got this water. We then come off here and then we just go up, right? I think so. Which way do we go? This way? Yeah, yeah, this way. There's our crafting bench. Like little breadcrumbs. Uh, ba, ba, ba. And up we go. Oh. And away we go. We should definitely carry more blocks with us. At all times. Because currently we carry nothing. Cool, Leo. We are out of here. And here seems less hostile now. Admittedly, it is daytime and I've torched it up a fair bit, but still. It's a bit nicer. A little bit more pleasant here. And we came out of that with a lot of emeralds, actually. So we could do our trading as well, that we spoke about, which might not be the worst idea. Because if we can get a villager up to selling us, like, golden carrots, maybe, we won't have to do as much... Um, of the farming and killing sort of thing. We can kind of use their drops for vaults rather than um, just wasting it on eating it. But that's cool. Okay. We are free. A whole new world. <laughs> oh, sanity. It's dropping fast. It's not even this game. It's just life. That's life. That's what all the people say. If I ever get a copyright claim for just humming or singing away, I will laugh. How did you survive, sheep? The, the giant culling of animals. Planted some trees as well. Just in case you're like, what? Um, just because I, I know that we're going to need the wood and it's fairly barren of trees. And I don't want to cut down this little tree, which is the like, the idle tree. Uh, what we can do... Oh, we, we did get a melon seed. Oh, that's so good. Okay. For now, then, let's put that there. Um, as I said, like we'll grow some unique crops here for now. Um, that's actually really good. Cool. Um, so we've got obsidian. That's done. Ooh, let's also take this and whack that there. 
Lovely. Okay, so now first vault and tool station is what we need. So, if we quickly just try and get rid of some of the stuff that we picked up. Everything's kind of ticking on. Lovely. So, let's build this tool station. So the tool station needs the diamond. It needs smooth stone. We don't have any cobble, do we? <laughs> okay, we need to mine some cobble as well. Um, one second. Do we just mine it out of here? Sure. We need a place to get some cobble anyway. Ooh, and coal. Dual purpose now. We're actually not doing too bad on levels either. I wonder if we get levels from killing the animals in the pens. No, I didn't look at that when I killed them last time. We'll have a look in a second. Let's just get a load of it, because we'll need some for the vault anyway. Well, actually, let's do this, because we're going to need to cook it down. And what do we need to cook it down with? Coal. I'm feeling like the majority of this actual episode, the cut version, will probably just be the vault. But we shall see. Um, let's take a little, a little snooze. Uh, let's just do this. Cool. So, let's check through that we've got everything. So, we have everything bar the chromatic iron, which we have here, and we've just collected another stack and a bit of it. Then all we need is that. What do we need for this? We just need the chipped rocks. So actually, let's make our first one now. Our first vault rock. So then we just need the altar. So... Once this is done, that should do us for the bricks, I'm pretty sure. And now, ba -ba -ba -ba. achievement get vault altar. So now you place this in the world. We're going to need a button as well. But let's stop this from cooking everything now. Uh, we'll need one button. What we'll do is we'll get this cooking, this, and that, and this. Um, so you place a button on here because you'll need that to activate it. But you place this in, and now we know we need... So we need two cobble, so you throw two cobble at it. We need eight rotten flesh. Eight rotten flesh done. We need two carrots which means we can actually maybe use half of these bones to try and first off, let's do this, so we can grow our melon grouping a bit better. And then we need some carrots, so that's fine. Let's just use maybe like half of this here. Down to about that. And let's use the other half over here. Because we got to fill these fields. Oh no! <laughs> Just trying to chow down on a poisonous potato. No, thank you. Cool. So that's that. Uh, let's then keep two in our inventory, and then place the rest. Uh, and then we just need to go and get some copper, which is very funny because I mentioned it in the first episode that I might need copper and then never picked any up. Um, oh, we've got two bows. Let's repair that. Um, we got a lot of stuff, though, from that little little raid we did. Um, let's... Where did I see that copper the first time? And it doesn't matter where I saw it, I just need copper. So let's try and get ourselves some copper real quick. How much do we need again? 16? Gonna go with 16. Oh, I 
if it's more I'm going to do myself in. So let's quickly go and look again. Um, but this is it basically. So this is Vault Hunters. So you'll, you'll build your little vault rocks. You will then put them on the altar, find out what you need, and then fill it in. And then it's 20. Okay, so I would have been wrong. Um, and then once you've you filled it in, you hit the button, it becomes a vault crystal. And then with the crystal, you can go into the vaults and start vaulting. So that's what we'll be doing today once I get the rest of this. Uh, once I get the copper we need, which is very annoying. Ow. Um, but that's fine. Did I see a little little cave over here? It's a fairly like above ground thing, isn't it? Copper. I thought it was a little cave. No? Okay, I didn't. Um, let's go have a look over here, actually. I don't think we've looked at this one. I just need to find a bit of copper. It's a nice reason to explore as well. More cows. Uh, copper, 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 copper. Give me the copper. Nope, nope, nope. It's going to be the time where I can't find any, isn't it? There's some. At least it spawns in kind of big veins. Because that's like what almost... Oh. It gave us double? I didn't realise copper gave double. Um, well, that's all we needed then. Let's have a, a quick gander. I hear you. I need your bones. Raggedy boy. Oh my god, what are we doing? If we fight like that in the vault, we die. Oh my god, another one. Yeah, we will die in a vault if we fight like that. I just wanted to have a quick browse in here, see if there's anything... Yeah, we may as well pick it up. It annoys me. Yeah, it does pick... drop multiple. Oh, okay. Really didn't know that. Copper is kind of easy then. Okay, I thought it was the same as iron, where you're getting like one per piece. And I would have been a bit annoyed that I had to go and find 20 of it. But if it's, if it's like this, it's not too bad. So let's go and get this smelted up. And then we should be able to make our first vault crystal, which will be really good fun. Very excited. Oh, we passed some. Now look at me. Now that I have to start doing these vault crystals, I'm picking up everything. Um, looting will become easier with some of the research like these, where you can have belts and pouches and stuff. Um, and we get storage stuff, so it will become a little bit easier as the game goes on, but oh, a piece of candy. Um, but for now, it's it's a little bit limited. And once we can get some shulker boxes from... We don't have to go to the end. We can get shulker shells from the vaults. So once we get some shulker boxes, it'll become a bit... We'll be able to loot more and more, and it's kind of like a exponential, where we'll eventually grow fast enough to be able to do all sorts of things. Um, but for now, we have to push through the manual way a little bit. There we go. Uh, copper. So we've got tons of this now. Um, we don't need this right now. We don't need this. We don't need this. We don't need this. We don't need this. I keep the bombs on me. Um, never know how useful they could be in a vault. Um, We need more storage space. Um, well, let's put that in there, actually. Um, put that in there for a second. That in there for a second. Let's keep that. Let's keep that. Uh, we need the arrows as well. Once that's done, we'll swap that out. We can do that. Uh, bah, 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 bah. I'm trying to get prepped now so we can just jump right in. Uh, I could probably do with fixing my sword or making a new one. Let's make a new one just in case. Just in case. A tiny at law. We shouldn't need... Um, we shouldn't need torches, I don't think, really, in vaults. But I could be wrong. Um, 
let's chuck that in there. We could do with uh, maybe cooking some more meat. Let's take this with us and go and kill some of the cows. How many have we got? 32, 48. We could kill some sheep. Let's kill eight sheep. We do get experience though, which is good. 12 mutton, that'll do. I just want to make sure that we have plenty of food for the vault. Which is good. Uh, swap that in, take that out, take that out. We still don't have enough actually cooked yet anyway. Um, put that away. Put that away. Put that away for now. Let's get some water. Okay, I feel like I'm ready enough to at least pop my head in a vault. Um, let's just, for the sake of tidying our inventory a little bit, do that. Yeah, I feel, I feel fairly confident with this. I've got my bow, sword, pickaxe. We could do with an axe, couldn't we? Let's take that one then. Uh, let's put the bow at the end. Okay, oh, we do need the copper actually. I don't know why I put that away. One more. It's coming. The last, the last piece of copper we need. And now we can chuck this on here. It's all gone. We've pressed the button. And. Da 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 da. Achievement get. Uh, well, we haven't done first bolt yet, so let's not take that off. I think now what we need to do is we build basically a nether portal out of um, these bricks, which maybe we'll use this house for. Yeah, this will be cool. Let's just carve out the floor for a second. You can make it any shape, though, um, as far as I'm aware, as long as it's like a like a square sort of thing. As far as I'm aware, it doesn't need to be anything other than that. And then technically now, we've done it. Okay, right, let's clear our inventory. Oh, we can do this quickly. Get that going. Uh, let's clear our inventory, we'll sleep. Um, we're going to take uh, two stacks of blocks just to have some some sort of stacking blocks. Let's sleep. We've done it though. We've opened our first vault. And we're going to run it with very bad gear. Bear that in mind. We have damaged iron armor, iron sword, diamond pick. Um, so let's see the sort of see what we can do with this. I think I've got everything I need. I can always leave the vault, but it's a waste of a vault crystal. So what is this? Uh, beginner's insurance and beginner's grace. What's beginner's insurance? Chests can't be trapped. Oh, cool. And then beginner's grace, which means uh, below level 20, I believe, we can't um, lose our stuff. Because if you die in a vault, you, you die in real life. No, um, you will... Let's just be aware, we're coming from east. Uh, we're going west, so we need to go east home. We're not going to go into many rooms anyway. But it's good to be aware. See loads of chromatic iron in here. Um, although we did just pick up a second set of it, so we shouldn't be too bad off. We want chests. If need be, we can come back to this room and just mine a load of chromatic iron. Um, and that will do us really good for experience, I think but chests are what we want. Okay, so we're just gonna keep going west um, to try and find, oh, and more bolt rock as well, perfect. Um, we might end up just mining a lot in this first dungeon, I think, then. Vault, sorry. Okay, so I see some chests. So they're the, oh, that's a, this is a bad room, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're not going there, we're not going there. Block that off, that's a bad room. Um, I've seen people play, it's not the sort of room you want to go in on your first run. So that's fine. So we come back here, we've gone east, let's go north one room, see if this is a good looking room to 
Just to do, we just want some simple looting. I think this one's just as bad. Yeah, this one's just as bad. No, thank you. There's a lot of chests in there. I just don't think we'll we'll survive. And we want to make sure that we maximize our time in here. So the only other place we can go is south. And as long as we can find a half decent room, we should be alright. Good room. It's another room like this. There's only two monoliths. We could arguably complete this if we're lucky lucky. There's some chests down there. This is our room to loot, I think. This is a good room for us. <gasps> One monolith. Okay, so these are the these are what you're you're after. Um so we need two of those. See at the top here, we've lit one up now. If we could light the second one up, that would be insane for our first uh, first run. I don't think it's... There'll never be more than one in a room. Um, is this a fizzle spawner? Yeah, it is. Okay. So fizzle spawners, you hear that little sound? They'll spawn stuff and then the spawner will go away. There are other types of spawners that won't fizzle uh, and they will just keep spawning. Uh, those ones you have to try and break, um, but with our current pickaxe I don't think we'll really do a good job of it. Is that another fizzle? I think it is. Hearing multiple. Oh, an omega wooden chest. Uh, lovely. Let's just loot as much as we can and then we go east I believe. We didn't really mark our, our way in that well, did we? I think we go east? Because we came... No, uh, south. Because we went north one, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Okay. Um, we need to try and keep track of this. So let's do that. That way home. That's fine. Ooh, lots of goodies. Oh. I did not mean to just land on this, but that's fine. Plenty of goodies. Oh, taking more damage. And remember, no uh, regen in the vaults. So... You, what you get is what you get, basically, unless you can get a perk to regen yourself. Another Omega. Lovely. So then there's this one here. Is this a fizzle? Yes, it is. Get all of this loot. Not really looking right now at what we're looting. We're just kind of taking it, because anything we can get is probably a win. There's a structure over here. This could have vault gear in it. Not this time, though. Uh, not that time either. Bit of a shame, but you can't win them all. Uh, what do we want to drop? Well, we've got loads of sticks, so let's drop that. And then let's drop... Drop a stack of dirt for a chromatic iron. I think that's reasonable. Uh, it's all about decisions, though. You want to make sure you're making the, the best decisions you can with the time and resources that you have. Have we been over here? No, we haven't. Was this one fizzle? Did this one fizzle? I think it fizzled. Someone's burning a lava. Not sure. That's fine. I think we've actually probably got the stuff to be able to make a, a vault pick, which are just better than the picks that we have currently. Is there something like in here? Not sure. Did we loot this one? No, we didn't. Epic. Oh, struggling. Oh no, we just, I think, missed that one. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so I think we've looted this first room. Uh, we've got some good stuff. 
I'm just going to, for precaution's sake, because I didn't mark it properly the first time, I'm going to run back this way to check that this was our home room. If this is our home room, then we'll we'll go looting one more room. So this doesn't look like our home room. No, this is not. Okay, wait, because we don't want to get turned around. I thought we went north, but maybe we went south. Yeah, maybe that was what we did. Let's just have a look. If so, it's fine. We just need to make sure that we can leave the vault when we're done. Uh, but, 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 but our vault room, our home room is just the one full of like chromatic iron and stuff. This one, right? Because then we go east from here, and we should see. Yeah, portal. Okay, that's fine. So let's make sure that we're marking this a bit better. Um, cool. So this way, and we go this way. Lovely. We'll try and do maybe one more room or something, and then we'll do some mining in that um, the back room, just so we can be close to home, but also get a load more chromatic iron. So I think this way actually looked fairly safe and reasonable. Honestly, if we found a second monolith right now, nuts. Um, let's do that. Because we'd get a, if you fight, if you complete the objective, you get little containers at the end, which give you like extra loot and stuff for having completed the vault. But I don't think we're that lucky to find, to complete a vault on our first run. But anything for levels. Oh, okay. I heard it. Heard a sizzle spawner. Is it down here? Yeah, I think so, right? Yeah. Oh, again, another... So the ornate chests are the, the red ones. They're the ones that can give you um, loot, uh, like gear. So netherite as well. Oh, let's take that over the iron and let's take these focuses as well. Um, give me gear. Give me. Okay, so a vault leggings. That's insane. We've got that now. So let's take that over. I want the scaffolding, you know. Let's just get rid of... Oh, we need the dirt for marking. Let's get rid of the axe. We're not breaking anything anytime soon. So we've got vault leggings now. That's so good. So that's going to be our first piece of vault gear. That when we leave the vault, we'll be able to roll um, and actually get really good gear, which will be better than our iron gear. Straight up. So those are the chests you almost want to aim for at the start. Um, because if you can get them... Um, you'll do really good. Uh, da, 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 da. Vault burgers are also made... I'm going to have to explain this later. There's too much going on. And I don't know what I'm picking up. There's a lot of things spawning somewhere. I think this is the bottom area cleared, though. Can't see any other things down here, so we'll go back up. They tend to be comprised of three layers each room. So you have the middle layer, the bottom layer, and the top layer. Um, so let's go up. Oh, a lot of things just spawned. Oh, there's a pylon there. So I can explain another mechanic. Pylons are little bonuses that will help you throughout the vault, basically. So. <gasps> We've found a second monolith. We're going to be able to complete this vault and get so much experience. Okay, that's insane. So this says here, grants four bonus hearts for two minutes. So I click it, and now I've got four bonus hearts. Because I don't have any regen, it's not really going to help me. But in a in a normal game where you have regen and stuff, that would help loads. <laughs> um, I'm so pumped for this. We actually get to complete our first vault on our first run. So now we just have to find the exit. So basically, when we're done looting, we just leave. That's insane. And that could hopefully give us another piece of vault gear. Oh no. No, no, no. No, don't kill me now. I thought death was coming for me. That's fine. 
um, as much stuff as we can. Scaffold. Because uh, we got a stack of scaffolding. We're getting so lucky right now. Okay. So we could go over there and get that loot. Um, I think chests can contribute to more experience. So let's see if we can. But I think we'll probably level anyway just from finishing this first vault. There we go. Look at this. We've also got... Oh, a shulker box part. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to take that over the chromatic steel. Iron, uh, whatever. That's really good. If we can get a second shulker box part, we can have a full shulker. So we've got 12 minutes left. So which direction have we come from again? That direction, okay. Let's head one more room in, for greed's sake. Not that... I mean, we should leave, 100%. We've got so much good stuff, but... The chance to get maybe one more piece of gear is quite tempting. I was right about the torches though, don't need them. Um, I think that first room was so safe though that if we go back to it, we can spend the rest of the vault in there just mining. <gasps> An enchanting table! We have to go down to get it, it'll save us from making one ourselves. Okay. That I didn't see do anything. Okay, we've got to make sure we sweep and clear. That enchanting table is worth so much for us. Um, okay, I was like, where am I hearing things from? Oh my god, no, 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 no. Nothing can swim that well, so as long as I can... If I just chuck that down, let's just mine this. Oh, this is so good for us. Okay, cool. Uh, can't pick up any of that. Can't pick up any of that. We're, don't drown, don't drown, don't drown. That would be the worst way to die. You know what, we're going. We're going. After a little bit more greed. No, no, we need to leave. 100%. We're very low on health. And I'd rather not die in this place. Now that we've got an enchanting table and everything else. <gasps> yes! Okay, the greed was worth it though. Another one. That's so good for us. Um, shulker boxes are just going to make looting ten times easier. But we are going to go back home now. Uh, we'll mine a bit of the... We'll mine some stuff for the next like ten minutes or so, but I don't think I can survive another encounter, probably. I'll get roughed up too much. But that's fine. That's very fine. We might not even spend ten minutes in here. I'm kind of excited to leave. I'm very buzzed. Um, so in terms of the monoliths though, apparently, I think from what I heard um, in the latest update, not always will you have the ability to, um, it might give you four monoliths for example, but you might not, um, you might not need, uh, there might not be four monoliths in the, in the chamber. Oh shit. Am I lost? Was it this way? Is that what that pillar is? The really badly built one? Yeah, yeah, this is this is us. Because then we're just over there. Yeah, that's fine, okay. Just built the pillar poorly, that's fine. Um Yeah, so you might get four you might get it's a random number of um uh, monoliths that you have to find, but you might get four, for example, but there might only be three in the vault, so you're not always guaranteed to finish the vault, um, which makes it a little scary, because you could almost get down to like the last couple minutes and be like, oh no, that, there has to be one in here, there has to be one in here, but there just might not. Um, 
and you could you'd end up getting locked in and if you get locked in of course you die and then past level 20 you lose all your stuff so not great uh, might also mine some of this for vault rocks not the actual not this but the chipped chip stuff that stuff uh, gold nuggets no there you go because again four of those gets us another vault at least oh my god we've we've actually done so good in this first vault Did, was there loot in this first room I don't think there was I'm pretty sure it's it's just about the chromatic ore they give you still though the I'm so ecstatic uh, it, it, I think it shows a little bit but this is going to put us in such a good position because of course the whole point of what we were doing is we were like screw it we're going to iron armor this and hope for the best um, and it really did pan out for us quite nicely we're going to get a huge boost in our armor from that leggings it doesn't even matter if they're like bad quality it will still help us loads um, and then we might even get some more armor from finishing the uh, the little box we get for finishing, and we've got the enchanting table, which means we don't need to find the diamonds anymore um, for the enchanting table. We can just start to enchanting. We're level 20. We've got a, we've got a fair bit of levels on us. Oh, is that actual loot here? Oh, there, there is? Oh my god, that's uh, That is quite a lot of people. But no loot, actually. There's no loot here. This is just a pillar of death. Right? Yeah, cool, great. Glad I risked it all for that. I think we've got a plenty of chromatic iron at home for now, though. At least for what we're going to be doing. I think it makes more sense maybe to just mine some of this. get as many vault rocks as possible. Even though, again, we also have another vault rock deposit, but we've already got six, so that's another crystal. So we've already earned our crystal back from this one that we've just done. Oh, the the positive vibes are real. I should have done one of those things where I told you to like and share and we'll get good luck, and then I could have been like, yeah, we, we got the good luck, guys. You did it for us. But, but no, I, I didn't, so... That again, useless. You know what, we're just gonna leave. I'm gonna leave with what we've got. I'm quite happy. Uh, eight, that's two vault crystals, an even number as well for us. Let's go. Home, sweet home. Uh, what we will do is when we reach the portal, we'll drop something like Spirit. We'll drop the shovel, because we'll get the vault crate, and I want to make sure that it goes in my inventory. Oh, the good loots. And, bam. Did we ding? 6,000 experience. 5,000 from the objective. 263 from mobs unalived. We got then chests 1,000, so we can have a full breakdown and see what we did. So it shows you like chests looted, mobs killed, damage dealt, damage received, not too bad. Uh, you get all of the chests we opened, so we opened six or eight and got one piece of gear, that's really good. Um, load of the wooden ones, killed a load of people, uh, yes. <laughs> we dinged, we got our monolith crate. All is good. So let's first off, let's put that down. We don't need to open that yet. Let's put this down over here for a second. Let's roll our gear. Okay, it's fine. They are three armor, 800 durability, 5% crit resist. That's fine. I think if I open here so here you can see my defense is four percent currently if i put these on jumps to five straight away um plus it gives us mana and item rarity higher and crit uh hit resistance so overall 
it's it's good it's better than what we were wearing um we really need to get a chest plate that would be good but let's try and unstack some of the stuff that we've got we need wood we need wood to make chests this is only going to make one chest but i guess for now this is our vault loot chest uh take this stuff out so that's everything we got we've got enough to make a shulker box we've got so much bread so that's food kind of sorted for a bit uh, let's have a look. The books are going to be good because we can make bookshelves for our enchanting table, uh, saving us just a task to do. Magic silk is really good. And we've got the driftwood, which we need. Oh, we didn't get any bronze. That's annoying. Um, we can't make the pick then because uh, we need the bronze. We can still make the tool station though with the driftwood. Uh, we can actually check that off now. So we're, we're definitely a step closer to this, but we've done this now. And actually, as part of our first thing, let's now open this. So you shift right click on it. So much good stuff. Okay. So we've got two shields to identify. One is Epic Plus, so that means it can either be Epic or better. And I think the only thing above Epic is Omega, so that's going to do us so good. And one's Rare Plus, either way. Oh, and we've got the Bronze to be able to make the pick now as well. And we've got a load of Jewels. So Jewels can be put onto picks. You see it says Capacity on this pick here. So Capacity 100. So for example, this is size 66, so that would leave... 44 left on the pick capacity so you can kind of get them into something that you want them to be oh this is so good okay let's roll these let's roll this one first what are we gonna get the present box lid okay so this is healing cloud uh, when hit thorns damage plus two health block chance and durability that's very good. This could still be better, even though it's rare plus. The coconut shield. That's actually quite cool. So this is slowness cloud when hit, soul bound, which means it'll, if I die, it'll still be with me. Durability and block chance. I mean, we're still probably going to take this one. If we go to H, we can have a look. 14%. 14%. Okay, well, I mean still we'll, we'll take the we'll take that so you don't ever block in this game either it auto blocks for you so it's very good for that as well let's put this in we need more chest space um so mystery boxes are another thing that you roll and they drop stuff for you so we got three emeralds from there that's really good um we're level three i just realized that um and then we also got Relic booster packs. So these have a chance to contain the relic pieces, which are part of the end game. Nothing that time. They give you a little bit of experience, I think, but so good. Look at our hearts. We've got one extra heart. Oh, this is productive. I tell you what. Very, very productive. So I think what I'm going to do in the break, because I think this is where we're going to end this video. In the break, I'm going to try and farm up some more crops. I'm maybe going to cut down a load of trees and make a load of chests so we can be a bit more organized. Uh, I'm going to build the enchanting setup up with the books that we got, and then we'll come back. But, oh, actually, no. Do you know what we won't do? We won't do that at all. We're going to make our... We're going to finish our last objective for the day. Right? Yeah. This plus this uh, is this. Then we can come out here and just put this here for a second. And now we can make a chromatic pick. If we put that in there, we put that in there, and we put that in there. Put that in there as well, I don't know. Um, so now we can make all the chromatic tools though. Um, but we can make a pick. It's our first pick. I don't think you can do anything better than that, but it'll always be better than diamond as well, I believe. Um, mining speed 9, I don't know, what does it say? Found in raw or nature, oh, okay. Um, 
So now we can actually also have a look at using our our jewels if we wanted to. So let's just have a little talk through quickly about what they do a little bit better. So for example, this one axing would mean this could also work as an axe for you. It's quite a large jewel, so I might not use it. But that on the other hand, faster mining speed would be very good to use on it. But I don't know how to apply it actually. Wait, how do we... Um, How do you apply the the jewel? Tool crafting jewels. Use jewels to enhance your uh, jewels can be crafted in the tool forge. Da, 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 da. Jewels continue. Jewels can roll a huge variety. Uh, yes, tool enhancing. Use any base tool with a jewel in an anvil. Oh, okay. So we probably don't have enough iron for that. No, we don't. Well, that's fine. But I think probably what I'll do is I'll probably use that one. Let's have a look then. Smelting. So everything we break would be smelted. Maybe not worth it. Not that bad. It's a very small gem. Uh, item rarity. Quite a large gem. Trap disarm. Maybe. Maybe I'll put these three onto the pick. But that'll be in the next episode when we go and maybe get some more iron. For now, though, everyone. We've done an absolute stellar job today. Thank you very much for being here, and I will see you in the next one.